What is up everybody, it's your boy Bluff Jug, and today we're gonna be talking about Gamma Blade, particularly after you throw an opponent and you're able to hit him with 2D and some of the advantages that this have. So for a pressure option, it's really good and also it's really safe and I'll show you why. So let's hop into the lab, let's talk about this Gamma Blade after you throw your opponent and land a 2D. We are in a lab against our boy Kyle. I don't know why we keep beating up on Kyle, but it just seems appropriate, right? Okay, so throw to 2D to Gamma Blade. So you might wanna practice this a few times and can be a little tricky to get the timing down. So an example of that, me messing this up on purpose is showing you what it is to commit too much on the 2D. So you have to have it to where your feet on the sweep are touching his legs. So what I mean by that is just dashing up a little bit and you hit his legs. So you wanna make sure that you're hitting the bottom portion of the body instead of the mid body, because otherwise it'll whiff. Gamma Blade is what, plus nine on block? I got Kai set to 5S, and I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you have a player that throws buttons out after you 2D Gamma Blade them. So this is very advantageous, a good option to use, and something that you should program to have in your weaponry because it is really safe, and I'll go through that as well later. Okay, so we're gonna throw him 2D and then Gamma Blade, and it will hit, it will hit, because he's gonna hit a button. So his 5S wasn't fast enough, Gamma Blade's coming out, it's going to win every time. You're probably asking, what if Kai was set to DP? So we got him doing this slash version of Vapor Thrust and we'll see, this 2D Gamma Blade still work if he's gonna wake up DP. You're safe. And you know what that means? If he commits a DP, get ourselves a little punish here. Whatever combos you got, I messed that one up. But you get the main idea. Whether or not the opponent is going to throw out a button or a DP out of the corner, Gamma Blade after 2D is very advantageous. Something that you, again, should practice in the lab. It takes it takes a little minute. It's not something that's super easy. You'll mess the timing up in matches. I think this is super helpful. It has led me to land some great counter hits and as well as having some pressure. So again, we got Kai just playing the godlike defense. I can't hit him, throw him. We have won the round. So get in the lab, work on the 2D after you grab, throw the Gamma Blade out, experiment with it, play with it. And with not me not being the most technical chip, it's a good opportunity for me to share what I've learned through failure and just seeing what other players do. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll be back with episode four very soon. Peace.